bucks and paid 65 cents. What? It's absolutely crazy. Hey, Bolo Buddies. Thanks for watching. All right, you guys, in this video, we are going to talk about big money bolos, items to be on the lookout for, items you can hopefully buy low and sell for a profit. I'm going to tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. So I posted this in my Bolo Buddies Facebook group, share your best April bolo. And if you guys would like to share a bolo, the best May post is up right now. So come on over to the Facebook group and share your bolo and I will feature it in a video just like this. All right, so the first item we're gonna talk about is this Conair gel and lather heating machine system dispenser. Anytime you see these types of things, especially if they're new in the box, look them up. Uh, he said, free to me from my grandfather's estate cleanout sold for 57 in about a week. And this one comes from the dog patch picker on eBay. And it looks like a buyer paid shipping on that. So let me know down in the comments. Do you guys charge shipping or do you do free shipping on eBay? And if you're on a different platform, does it depend on the platform that you're selling on? For me, I do free shipping on Mercari, but the other platforms I charge shipping. So let me know what your method for shipping is. Okay. Cricut Cutie. Is that what that says? Platinum blue, two-tone blue silver, 2023 collectible craft. Okay, Cricut. That's like the machine that does crafts, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. I know that's not how you spell the normal Cricut, but I think that's how you spell the machine, but I could be wrong. Let's see what it says here. Bought this Cricut cutie at a rummage sale two weeks ago. It says, my wife was with me and she handed it to me and said, you want this? I had no clue. She knew they were fairly exclusive. Just a figure. Doesn't do anything special. Just desirable. Hmm. Cost me a dollar and sold for full asking price of $44.99 with original box worth at least double that. Thanks for sharing our store is Flea Monkey Discounts on eBay. Huh. So it's just a little figurine. That, I would have walked right past. I would have walked right past it. What about you guys? Let me know down in the comments. Now, somebody said to me in one of the comments that I should put a max of how much the item should sell for for these videos. And I personally think that a big money bolo could be something that you get for a dollar and flip for 35 or $40. Uh, your cost of goods, I think, can determine whether something's a bolo or not. So let me give you an example. If I spend 50 and sell it for 100, would you rather do that? Or would you rather spend a dollar and sell it for $44.99? I'd rather spend a dollar. Why? Because I'm only sitting on a dollar cost of goods waiting on that item to sell. The other item, I'm sitting on $50. I've got $50 invested in that item. If it sits for a year, that's $50 I'm waiting on. See what I'm saying? So let me know what you guys think about that. All right, the next one. Five times Linux Planet Plants and Zombies. I'm sorry, it's Plants vs. Zombies. And this is something that I learned about a year or two ago. I had um, like a game or something I picked up and I was like, wow, I started doing a research on Plants vs. Zombies and some of them are a bolo. Plant, lot, rare, plush toys with tags. Now, this is from Australia. So I don't know if these are going to be harder to find here in the U.S., and I'm not sure how the actual um, money converts. So uh, let's see. Found these five plush toys, plants versus zombies characters at a thrift shop for a dollar each. So again, five bucks, cost of goods. All with tags. I had to research them a lot before listing due to their rarity. Sold overnight for full price of 20, I'm sorry, 220 AUD. I likely undersold them. So yeah. It would be cool to see um, a search here in the U.S. If these are popular here, maybe these are easier to find in Australia. I'm not really sure. So if you're watching from Australia, be on the lookout. And if you're in the U.S., uh, I would be looking for these also. 
The next item is this vintage Kitty Kitty Kitten Tyco 1992 black and white with blue collar purrs. So there are certain ones that are recalled. I don't think it's the Tyco. I think it's the other brand. So look into that before you sell them. Uh, sold this lovely kitty kitty kitten, picked up at an estate sale for a dollar a few years ago, tried listing it, but her daughter saw it and said it looked so sad she wanted to keep it to make it happy again. <laughs> so she let her daughter keep it and it looks like it sold for $95. Bladder is deflated and stiff inside stomach area. And then she put the name Coco is written on the collar. So I'm going to say this one probably does not purr anymore because I think it's that bladder that makes it purr. All right. Blossom in Winter Series, Melanie Martin's paperback books, lot of six. Bought these Melanie Martin's Blossoms and Winter Series books from a local thrift shop in my area. Paid five for all, listed for $74.99, sold in one day of listing for $63.74. Store name is Shell Wanna Go Thrifting. And they are books. So remember that book right there. And, you know, a lot of times with movies, DVDs, books. If you can get the entire series, that can help you um, get more for your item because people want to buy the set. All right. Sold this first edition paper book clockwork orange novel for $44.95. Paid pennies at the Goodwill bin. Sold in two weeks. Horror, horror movie novel <laughs> I can't say this word. Novelization. I forget it. Are a big bolo. They are worth. There are many worth hundreds. Okay. So it is a book that I believe was turned into a movie. A Clockwork Orange by Anthony Burgess, 1963. First edition paperback. There you have it, guys. John Cena, WWE Champion Wrestling T-shirt. Here's the tag. Bought this for 50 cents at a garage sale last summer. Sold for 44. Had tons of interest on the shirt. Probably could have sold for more, but wanted to start moving some stuff. This one comes from Eat Cray Thrift. All right, you guys are going to love this one. Paid a dollar at an auction. Vintage Stay Free the Thin Maxi Pads Silhouettes 12 Count Box. See photos for box condition. So these are little panty liners. Maxi pads, panty liners, tampons, but look, 12 sold, 12 sold. Did they all sell? Let's see. Hold on. Total paid $170 and 50 cents. It looks like they took a best offer um, of 170 50 for 11 of them. Now that's a bolo, right? So um, the reason why do these sell? Well, maybe it's somebody's favorite, but I think a lot of times people use these for props and movies and different things like that. But this person bought 11. So maybe they just really, really liked these and they no longer sell them. I don't know. What do you guys think? All right. I got this swung vase at a thrift store for $10. Swung vases are definitely a bolo and are selling for good money. eBay store, the vintage Buckeye and stuff. And it sold for $49.99. So $10 and to 50. And there it is. The next item says paid $10 for a bag of toys at Red Racks. What is Red Racks? I have no idea. Two of these were in the bag, sold both to different buyers within a week for $39.99 plus shipping. So really they made 80 bucks because they sold two. Big Buck Hunter. Pro plug and play TV game sensor. Wow, it's a game sensor. So it's a replacement part. That's one I would never have guessed. All right, let's look at this next one here. Uh, let's, hmm. Oh, here we go. See more. All right, here we go. 
This one, oh my goodness, you guys. I, I had to like double take, triple take. Uh, what is happening here? All right. So it says, this is what, uh, let's see. This is what she wrote. My family indulged me with a trip to the Goodwill bins and barbecue for my birthday this year. I pulled a set of dice out of a picked over bin and tossed them into my cart thinking they could be Bakelite. Got them home and tested them and they were. I ended up listing this die and the second one, brown tortoise shell color in two different auctions. This one got offers, messages and bids within 15 minutes of listing and sold for $1,050 at the end of the auction. $1,050 for one die. One. She said the second brown one sold for 91. My average cost of goods at the bins that day was 65 cents for each item. Still in shock with this first one. Thank you for all you do on your channel. Thank you for sharing this because this is one of the most incredible bolos ever. Check it out. Wow. So it's blue Bakelite. It looks black, right? But you can see how it's turning with the light on it. It cast a blue tint, you think? Huh. Wow, that's incredible. Uh, somebody put, do you know what it was about the blue dye that made this more valuable? She said, I don't. I was shocked by the auction. I had another eBay seller reach out after the auction, ending asking if the sale was legit. He stated he had two of them, one bigger and maybe one same size, and he ran them on auction after mine. The larger will the larger one went for $1,400 and the smaller for around $700. Wow. I wonder how many of these get missed. I bet a lot. Johnny was artsy boho tunic top, 100% silk, long pink balloon sleeve size 2X flaws. It says flaws, guys. Bought this shirt at a local thrift store for $2. I'm sorry, for $4. It sold within 18 hours for $94 plus shipping. It had numerous flaws, which were noted. The listing and flaws was included in title. My store name is Good Witch Pickers on eBay, Posh, and Mercari. So it's a Johnny Was. And that brand seems to be very popular. Look right here, guys. Look at that. $94 with all those issues. Wow. How many of you would have threw it back? Said, nope, too many issues. $94 you would have been thrown away. The next one is this ultra rare 1987 cat first generation Thai classic plush. And it is a, this is one of the bigger ones, guys. This is not one of the little teeny ones. Found this Thai tabby cat plush at the mission for 50 cents and took an offer for $74. So if they're vintage and bigger, definitely look them up. I've done pretty well with some of the bigger Thai, um, like this. I, I think I sold a monkey for in the $40, $50 range. Modernist glass face wall art, green and clear mask, candle holder, sconce sculpture. Found this intrigue. Ooh, that's cool. Found this intriguing looking glass face wall art candle sconce at an estate sale not long ago. Everything in the estate sale was pretty overpriced, but this was in the garage for only 15. I didn't know anything about it, but at the time I figured it was interesting enough to pick up. That's usually how I like to go about picking. Pick the unusual and weird items. Turns out these are pretty valuable. Took a best offer on this at 170 plus shipping. Not too bad for a $15 purchase. Um, eBay store is Steez Broker. Thanks for all the great information from members in this group. I have learned a lot and continue to get better every day because, because of it. Cheers. Oh, thanks so much. Thanks for being a part of the group and thanks for sharing your bolo. Nike EYBL Elite Youth Basketball League. That's what that stands for right here. I did not know that. Thank you for including that information. Tie dye hoodie at Goodwill today for 15 bucks, sold within six hours of listing on Mercari for an offer of $125. Wow. All right, guys, those are some of the April Bolos. I've got probably five or six more videos coming your way. Lots were shared this month. Thank you to everybody that shared. You guys go over and share your Bolo for May, and I will feature it in a video just like this. I appreciate you all so much for sharing your knowledge and helping everybody learn. It's just such a fun reseller community, and I'm super, super excited. I got to say, my vote for the best Bolo in this was that Bakelite die. Oh, 
$1,000 and paid 65 cents. What? It's absolutely crazy. Anyway, um, shout out to Seem So Vintage. She made this cute hat and I told her I wanted custom owl buttons. Ooh, I got my owls and my bolo buddies blue. Um, so I bought this from her on Whatnot and she has a couple more available in different colors and I'm not sure what the little buttons are. Um, I know one of them sold, so I know there were two left and I think she's making some more. So Seem So Vintage on Whatnot, check her out. And thank you guys so much for being here. I appreciate it. Thank you for watching. I do have affiliate and referral links down in the description of the video. Check them out. Those are things I use for my business. There's also some tutorial videos of things that I use for my business. And if you guys are not following me on whatnot, you got to come over. Um, I do have a referral link down there. You can get $15 to shop if you join with that and just come hang out. It's super fun. You don't have to use that $15 with me, but I would love for you guys to come over and hang out in the chat. It's kind of like a YouTube live and you can just kind of hang out and type and talk and it's a good time. So I hope to see you. Thanks so much to everybody that shared and thank you to everybody that watches. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share, and I will see you at the next one. Thanks for watching.